Hello guys, hope you are doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you shall be able to see all the latest engineering videos that I will be uploading on my channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, so now we have a problem at hand is basically we are interested uh, in calculating uh, the shear center of a channel section and also we need to calculate the shear stress distribution across the channel section okay so let's start the problem and uh, what he says to us is that a channel is uh, a channel is 460 millimeters deep overall okay this, so this depth is 460 millimeters and has flanges 100 millimeter wide the flanges, uh, this is the length of the flanges, the total length of the flange from here to the end is 100 millimeters uh, uh, wide and its thickness is 16 millimeters. So the flange thickness is 16 millimeters as shown. The web is 12 millimeters thick. Okay, so this is the web. This is the web and the thickness of the web as shown in the picture is 12 millimeters. Assume that all of the section is effective in resisting the fiber stresses and that only the web resists the vertical shearing stresses okay so this is telling about an assumption that we have to assume this assumption okay for the channel section okay now part a you need to locate the shear center of the section with respect to the center of the web okay where this is actually the center of this web if you look at it this is the these are the flanges and this is the center of the web okay in order to calculate uh, the shear center we first need to calculate the second moment of area the reason being the formula for the shear center of a channel section is e is equals to h square b square t upon 4i okay so uh, h square b square t basically are already known to us they are the geometrical parameters that we already know from the figure but i we do not know okay so in order to calculate i what we need to do is basically we will consider this channel as a whole so solid rectangle and from this, we calculate it as a whole area of this rectangle and we subtract this area of the rectangle from it. Okay? So we treat it, we add this area, this area to it and then treat it whole as a, as a rectangle and then we subtract this area from it to get the uh, moment, second moment of area of the channel section. So how we do it? We know uh, the second moment of area of a rectangle is treated as uh, 1 by 12 bd cube so what is base base is 100 what is the depth depth is basically from this point to this point is 460 uh, millimeter cube so this is the whole rectangle being treated minus this area you are going to minus this area out of it so if you minus this area you know it very well it will be 1 by 12 uh, what will be this area is going to be you know this length is 100 and this thickness is 12 so 100 minus 12 is going to be 88 and uh, what about uh, the depth depth is very simple it is going to be uh, 460 this is 16 minus 16 and minus uh, this thickness of the uh, flange so 460 it is shown 460 minus 16 minus 16 this is uh, basically 416 this is 16 millimeter minus the flange and this thickness of the flanges you will get this inner uh, depth of the uh, rectangle. So this becomes uh, second moment of area becomes uh, 236.18 into 10 to the power 6 millimeter 4. This is the second moment of area of this channel section. Now you need to calculate the uh, what is this into uh, shear center. So you need to calculate shear center. It is simply h square b square t over 4i. Okay. So in order to calculate h, this is basically the total height. If you look at it, this is the total height. So h is basically, uh, but you know, as in the shear center derivation, we need to calculate uh, the uh, this value of h from the medians of the uh, flanges, which means exactly from the center of this flange and from the center of this flange and the center of this web. This is the median lines going from here. If you see the derivation, so we will say h square will be basically uh, 460 minus 8 
and minus 8 you will reach the two medians so it will become 460 minus 16 you will get triple 4 the whole square into what about this value this is b square okay so in order to calculate the b square what you need to do here is very simple you know because your calculation will be from the medians of this flanges this whole length is 100 millimeters minus the center of this uh, web which is 12 center is 6 so it is going to be 100 minus 6 which means 94 the whole square into the thickness okay and uh, the thickness will be taken as the thickness of this uh, flange which is basically 60 millimeter so the thickness of the flange is taken over here is 60 which is of the greater thickness so you take 60 4 and multiply by the second moment of area which we just calculated 236.18 into 10 to the power 6 millimeter 4. So you will get the shear center of this channel section equals to 29.5 millimeter. Okay. Now we are interested in uh, prepare a sketch showing the distribution of the shearing center throughout the cross section when the vertical shear at the section is 50 kilometer. So they think the vertical shear and the section is being determined as shear force is basically defined as 50 kN. Now you calculate the shear stress distribution. So the formula for the shear stress is basically you know is VQ upon IT. This is the generic formula for the shear stress. So what you will do now, the, the, param, the variable that you don't know here is Q. And Q is basically uh, nothing but it is the first moment of area. So now in order to calculate the first moment of area, we will basically treating it in a very special way okay so we will first calculate the first moment of area of the plants we will treat it as an individual and then we will treat uh, the calculate the first moment of area of the web okay but when we calculate the first moment of area of the web we will treat this uh, uh, together okay we will treat qb together with flange and web okay so we will say qb is a combination of uh, the first moment of area of the flange plus web. So this difference you must remember. So first moment of area of the flange is going to be very simple. First you calculate the area and you calculate the distance from the centroid to centroid. So the area of the flange uh, is basically, uh, you know, from the median, it is 100 minus 6, which is 94. So uh, from here it is 100 minus 6 is going to be 94. The thickness of the flange is 16. Okay, the centroid to centroid distance. Okay, this is the centroid of the whole channel section. You remember, and you know that uh, the other centroid of the flange is at this point, not this 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 uh, dot which is being covered by the red dot. Okay, this one, which is half of 16. So we will write it as the center to center distance 460 divided by 2 is this height, which is 230, and the center distance of the flange is 8. So 230 minus 8. So we calculate QA for the flange is 333.88 into 10 to power 3 millimeter cube. Now you calculate uh, the first moment of area of the web. But remember, this web is a combination. We will treat it as a combination of flange and web. So when we do it, we will treat it. Uh, we will first add the first moment of area of the this flange, which is whose we total length we are considering here is this is different from this QF. We take total length is 100 and the thickness is 16 and the centroid to centroid distance is again the centroid of the flange to the central distance of the whole to the centroid of the whole channel it is again coming out to be 230 minus 8. So this is for the uh, flange plus now for the web you know for the web we will treat this web as uh, individually, we will be treating this web from this center. This way. Uh, why? Because uh, this is the centroid of the whole uh, uh, channel section and we are calculating at B. So we will treat it as uh, the thickness of the web is 12 and you know from this point uh, to the topmost point is the height is from QB to the topmost point, this point is 230. So 230 and basically you will be minusing uh, because we are just treating it for the web not the flange here first we have done it before so it is this 230 minus if you do it my 230 minus 60 because it is just for the uh, web not the flange so 230 minus the flange thickness 16 is giving you 200 and 
protein and the centroid uh, and the distance from here to the centroid is nothing but uh, 214 uh, divided by 2 which is 107 you multiply uh, this and then you add this into it uh, so once you have done it you will get the uh, uh, first moment of area as 629.976 into 10 to the 3 millimeter cube now we have got the uh, first moment of area the flange and we have got the first moment of area at uh, B. Okay. So for, uh, remember this QAF is basically at this point, this uh, this midpoint. This midpoint is A. This midpoint, this A point is this this dot which I have just covered. The B point is this. This written here, P, this is the B point. So we have calculated at the two points what he has asked you. Now the, calculate the shear stress at A with respect to the uh, flange. So this is shear stress at A with respect to the flange is VQA over ITF and it will be the shear force V is given to us in the question which is uh, 50 kN and QA we have calculated at, as 333.88 into 10 to the 3 millimeter cube. We want it in meter cube so it becomes into 10 to the minus 6 divided by the second moment of area we have calculated. This is the second moment of area into now since this is the flange so we will be considering and taking the thickness of the flange which is 16 so we have put 16 into 10 to the minus 3 so the result comes out to be uh, for the shear stress at a for the flange it's 4.42 into 10 to the 6 newton per meter square or pascals now you calculate the shear stress at a with respect to the web okay so this is what we are talking about we have already calculated we know it's v q a over I T W. Okay, so now you remember this is the uh, shear stress at area with respect to this web. This and this are combined together. Okay, so once we have done this, we will do it as V is given. Q A is already been calculated by us as three 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 point nine into ten to over uh, minus six. Okay, over second moment of area divided by multiply by but this is basically shear stress at A with respect to the web. The difference is uh, the thickness of the web is taken. Before that, we were taking it shear stress at A with respect to the flange. We are taking the thickness of the flange. Now shear stress at A with respect to the web. Because see, the very important point, A is commonly uh, being shared between the, this point A is commonly being shared between the flanges and the web. So, but the difference here is, because it is with respect to the web, we take thickness of the web. So now this is being done. Now we go to the next slide. Now we calculate the shear stress at B with respect to the only the web. So we know the shear stress at B is the shear stress of the section is V. The first moment of area uh, at for B is all, is basically Q B that we have calculated it uh, is 629.976 into 10 to the 3 millimeter cube. So we get this as 630 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by the same old logic second moment of area multiplied by uh, the thickness of the uh, web which is 12. So shear stress at B comes out to be 11.11 into 10 to the 6 into per meter square. Now you need to plot it. Okay, from the flange, uh, from here we know the value of the sh uh, shear stress is 0 and it reaches the maximum of here and that value is 4.42 and since the flanges uh, are mirror image of each other. So we can start from here and reach the positive value of here till 4.42 and same here 4.42. Then we go to uh, the, the uh, web section which is a common section. Okay, This common web and flange because QA for the web okay and but it is combined together with flange and web its value was 5.89 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square. So we plot it from this point, okay. From this point, we can start from here also, but we plot from this point to this point 5.89, 5.89, and then we calculate the shear stress at B only for the uh, web, okay. So that comes out to be 11.11 10 into 10 to over 6 newton per meter square, and it starts from here and it goes here to here, so it reaches this point, and it is which is this point converges. We know that for the channel section. The maximum shear stress is reaching in exactly at the center of the uh, channel section, which is this point. Okay, so this is the value of the maximum shear stress that will be reached upon the loading that was given to us 
by this shear force which was 50 uh, kN as explained in the problem. So this is how you basically solve this channel beam problem. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like this problem and uh, I thank you all and you have to people, all of you have a very wonderful day. Thanks a lot.